Hello, Senior Stoner fan. This is the real Senior Stoner back at you for your Yo Ken Rex Diamond Dab of the Day with my Dab X Bubbler. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me. As always, if you enjoy today's video, you know what to do. Join the family, send a like, and let's get those comments going. Keep me busy. Today's topic, once again, is born out of life. But you know what? Many of us are going to have issues with what I'm about to talk about. Living with loneliness. How do we do it? I'm alone every day from 7.30 in the morning till about 6 at night. Alone. And then Mrs. Stoner is with me from 6 to about 9. And then I'm alone again. So how do we free ourselves, let's call it, from feeling or being lonely when we're by ourselves? Okay, many of us have experienced this. There's no one around to talk to. You slowly sink into a state of sadness or anxiety or fear that you'll never get over it. It overwhelms us at some times. Feelings of loneliness, guess what? None of us are alone with this. If we've had feelings of loneliness, we are far from alone. Loneliness is one of the most common, if unpleasant, emotions that tens of millions of people experience. For some, it's a passing emotion. For others, it's a recurring sense of desperation and sadness. But for all of us, just part of being human. Loneliness, unfortunately, can eat, lead to a lot of negative things in one's life. We have to find ways to suppress those unwanted feelings or actions because things can lead to depression, you can ruminate and dwell. Why am I alone? It can lead to hopelessness by having a strategy to deal with loneliness. It can be an important safeguard against depression, worse things, and even making bad choices. Let's take a look at some ways that you can manage or cope with the feelings of loneliness. What if we were to normalize loneliness? That's right. Because loneliness is on the rise so much, you're not alone feeling lonely. In fact, connectedness can be related to the decline of many things. Family connections, higher divorce rates, people moving more frequently, the decline of religious observances in person, the decline of participations in social organizations. You know what? Widespread and increasingly frequent loneliness is, and we must recognize that it's there. And we must have strategies for coping with it. We've got to relate loneliness to our values of connection. Well, what is loneliness good for, we might ask ourselves. I know it sounds weird, but loneliness remind us the value of the connection? Does it remind us how important intimacy is? Does it remind us how simply magnificent sharing experiences are with others? You see, we evolved to live in smaller communities with daily face-to-face -face contact, shared child rearing. But now that has changed for many people. In fact, it's changed for most people. Loneliness may remind you of the fact that you value connecting with other people that that value is an important part of being human. We cannot give up the connection just because we're feeling lonely. We've got to have a plan. That is correct. The first part of developing a plan is to identify the trouble times, like on a clock, for loneliness. It may be daytimes. It may be evenings. It may be weekends. It may be holidays. We've got to develop a plan in advance for those times, just like planning a defense against a chess game or against some other onslaught. On weekends, maybe you'll try to make plans with other people outside of your own home. Maybe you'll go to a museum. Maybe you'll take a bike ride, go for a walk. Maybe you'll be able to connect with people on Meetup or other sites. Thinking of turning yourself into a tourist for a day or a night, interesting. Or if your worrisome time is at night, have a plan for a couple nights each week 
where you can connect with someone, anyone. It could simply be on Skype. Plan some videos to watch, music to listen to, yoga class, take up a new hobby. You see, resilience is critical. Doesn't matter if we're 24 or 64. You can experience with great enthusiasm new activities. What would be our plan? You don't need someone else to do something rewarding. So often people say, I have no one to do things with. You don't need someone to go to the movies with. You don't need someone to go work out with. You don't need someone to take a new hobby with. You don't need someone to go for a walk with. Some people say, I feel self-conscious doing things by myself. Try to identify what those self-conscious thoughts are. Maybe there's things like people will see me alone and think I'm pathetic. But how do you know what others think? And even if they did think that, why should we care? Maybe doing things alone means we're more independent, empowered, and free. In fact, doing something by ourselves might actually be a good way to meet new people. Imagine that we're at a bookstore or a museum and you start talking to someone next to you about a painting or a book. Or imagine that you're taking a cooking or a yoga class and start talking to people. Empower ourselves by getting out, out of our mental zone and realizing that we don't need someone else to do things with. You know who we have? We have ourselves. We've got to get hold of and identify the loneliness thoughts. Write them down. The thoughts that we have when we're lonely. They might include thoughts like we just talked about. But you know what? They can include other thoughts. I'll always be alone. If I'm alone, I have to feel lonely and unhappy. I must be a loser because I'm alone. I can't stand feeling alone. If you have these or other negative thoughts, then you're like tens of millions other people who feel stopped in their tracks by loneliness. But, but, we can try rational and helpful responses. We are the we are only alone for moments, minutes, and hours. And you'll be interacting with people soon. Whether you're waiting in line, talking to a friend, or participating in an activity, we are not on a deserted island. Just because we're alone doesn't mean we have to feel sad and lonely. We can look at it as an opportunity to do things that we like. We may enjoy having the peace to read something you like, listen to your own music, cook your favorite food, watch your favorite movie, or visit wherever you want to go. The idea that we are a loser because we are alone makes no sense. Everyone's alone at some point. 45% of the people in the world experience loneliness. Being alone is a situation, and situations change. The idea that we can't stand being alone doesn't make sense. It may be true that we don't like being alone, but I think it's the way we relate to it that matters. If we relate to loneliness with protest, anger, desperation, defeat, you know what? Then it's going to be unpleasant. It might be more helpful to relate to it with the idea that feeling lonely or being alone comes and goes ebbs and flows, and that it's something we all cope with. Accepting what is might be better than catastrophizing something we all experience. We need to direct compassion and tenderness towards us, towards ourself, rather than thinking we need to rely on others for love, acceptance, and compassion. We might direct those thoughts and feelings towards ourselves. They can include acts of loving kindness towards yourself, making yourself the best food you can, buying yourself a simple little gift, directing loving thoughts towards yourself by giving support to you for being who we are, being the best friend you can to yourself, and by recalling a loving person from your childhood your mom, your grandmother, your grandfather, 
whom you recall showing tenderness towards you, taking care of yourself and soothing yourself is the most incredible antidote for loneliness. My gosh. And if you can, sure you want to build a community of connectedness. Even animals. Because so many people, friends, family, patients, want to connect and experience. But they have pets they didn't even know they could connect with. My pet is my best friend. Maybe consider getting a dog or a cat. Or go to a shelter and volunteer. Socializing the kittens or the puppies can be great work to have. You see, there are many ways to feel connected. Whether it's working with kids or older people or patients. Anything you can to show kindness towards someone else will make you feel less lonely. Maybe make plans to see people. I know it's hard right now. But being alone doesn't mean you got to feel lonely. And feeling lonely doesn't mean that you got to feel that way all the time, forever, indefinitely. It doesn't. I promise you, all emotions pass. And depending on what you're thinking and what you're doing, they pass faster and clearer. You know what? Being alone is the biggest problem I have during the day because it impacts all aspects of my life and I take it extremely seriously. I am very concerned that I dwell on it too much. That's why we're talking about this today. I'm very concerned that instead of just being alone, I get all hyped up that I am alone. And you know what? I don't have to be. There's no reason to be. Everyone gets alone sometimes. Everyone. And you know what? The beautiful part about at least my life is, and many of us I know out there, I have a loving wife. I have two loving children. So the thing is, loneliness is up here. I know that's too simple, but in reality, what I found. I hope you enjoyed today's discussion on how we all can manage our loneliness because that's what the discussion is. You're not going to get rid of it, not going to eliminate it, but you can manage it. You can manage how you react to it. Okay? I can't say loneliness is going to stop, but I can say that I hope you, you, you listen and understand and share with me my feelings on it and we can make it through. Let's turn on our wrecks and get started with our diamond dab of the day. Thanks everybody for joining me today. Truly a pleasure talking with you, as you know. Let's get started with our wrecks. Here we go. I have to get it on. Okay, here we go. I have it on the green setting and it's on already. Here we go. We're talking cotton balls. Look at that. Look at that from this little thing. Wow. If everything was that simple. Have a great one, everybody. Thanks for joining me. And remember, loneliness is a state of mind. Cheers, everybody.